Hello, my name's Brad Bushman. I've been doing research on aggression and violence for over 25 years. Let me begin by defining the terms aggression and violence, because lay people and researchers often use the terms differently. Lay people may describe a salesperson who tries really hard to sell merchandise as aggressive. The salesperson, however, does not want to harm potential customers. Most researchers define aggression as any behavior intended to harm another person who does not want to be harmed. Lay people and researchers also use the term violent differently. A meteorologist might call a storm violent if it has intense winds, rain, thunder, lightning, or hail. Most researchers define violence as aggression that has as its goal extreme physical harm, such as injury or death. Thus, all violent acts are aggressive acts. But not all aggressive acts are violent. Only the ones designed to cause extreme physical harm are violent. It might surprise some people to learn that violence levels around the world have actually declined by millennium, by century, and by decade. These findings are described in Professor Steven Pinker's book titled, The Better Angels of Our Nature, Why Violence Has Declined. Quantitative studies of body counts, such as the proportion of prehistoric skeletons with axe or arrowhead wounds, indicate that prehistoric societies were far more violent than our own. Although one can kill a lot more people with a bomb than with an axe, the death rates per battle were much higher in the past than today. Estimates show that if the wars of the 20th century had killed the same proportion of the population as ancient tribal wars, then the death toll would have been 20 times higher, 2 billion rather than 100 million. More recent data also show that violence is declining. European murder rates have decreased dramatically since the Middle Ages. Even since the middle of the 20th century, global violence has been falling steadily. The number of armed conflicts and combat deaths, the number of military coups, the number of deadly violence campaigns waged against civilians have all declined. As Pinker notes, quote, cruelty as entertainment, human sacrifice to indulge superstition, slavery as a labor-saving device, conquest as the mission statement of government, genocide as a means of acquiring real estate, torture and mutilation as routine punishment, all were common features of life for most of human history. But today, they are rare to non-existent in the West, far less common elsewhere than they used to be, concealed when they do occur, and widely condemned when they are brought to light." Close quote. Although violence rates are declining, it seems as if current levels of world violence are at an all-time high. One possible explanation for this misperception is that the news media are saturated in violent images. In the news media today, a common phrase is, if it bleeds, it leads. That is, violent, gory news stories often become the leading news stories. Citizen journalists around the world also make use of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to show and tell the world about unjustified acts of violence. Some individuals and groups even use social media to broadcast horrific acts of violence. Violent stories trump most other news stories. On the news, violent stories are also repeated frequently as any new information becomes available. These violent images and stories become burned into our memories. Entertainment media are also saturated with violent images. For example, our recent research shows that acts of gun violence in PG-13 movies, for viewers 13 and older, have more than tripled since 1985, the year the rating was introduced. Researchers have been studying aggression for decades. It's important to conduct research so that people don't have to rely on gut feelings, hunches, intuitions, opinions, and common sense. Research can test what beliefs are true and what beliefs are myths. For example, my own research has contradicted many myths that people believe. One common myth is that it's healthy to vent your anger and blow off steam by expressing it. 
such as by yelling and screaming, punching a pillow, or kicking a trash can. Research shows that this is the worst thing you can do when you're angry. It's like using gasoline to put out a fire. It only feeds the flame. Angry people are highly aroused. Their blood pressure and heart rate are elevated. Venting keeps arousal levels high. It keeps aggressive thoughts active in memory, and it keeps angry feelings strong. Research has shown that it's much better to try to reduce the arousal, such as by taking deep breaths, listening to calming music, or counting to 10. Former U.S. President Thomas Jefferson said, if you're very angry, you should count to 100 instead. Angry people can also distract themselves or adopt a more distant perspective of the situation, like a fly on the wall. It also helps to do something incompatible with anger and aggression, such as helping someone in need, watching a comedy, kissing a lover, or petting a puppy. Another myth is that aggressive people suffer from low self-esteem. Our research has shown instead that aggressive people tend to be narcissistic. They have inflated high self-esteem. Narcissists think they are special people who deserve special treatment, and they lash out aggressively against others when they don't get the special treatment they think they're entitled to. Another myth is that violence sells. Our research has shown that people are less likely to remember brands, have more negative attitudes towards them, and are less likely to purchase them when they are embedded in violent media than when they are embedded in nonviolent media. This is probably because we are hardwired to pay attention to violent cues based on our evolutionary past. Because humans have limited attentional capacity, if we pay attention to violent cues, we have less capacity to pay attention to the advertised brands. Like most social problems, scientific research is a promising avenue for solutions to the problems of aggression and violence.